Come down from Steeles Avenue once a week to sit at the central waterfront to breathe in the peace, they said. They could not believe Jeff would be allowed. There was the man who sits often on a bench at the beach in the eastern beaches, originally from India. He, too, did not want Jeff on his waterfront. The family at the next table to me at a restaurant in Cabbage Town. While they were looking at a map, I went over and asked if I could help. They were from Sweden. The father looked at me, looked at the map, looked at me again, and said, why do you have an airport on your waterfront? Why indeed, was all I could say. <laughs> at our favorite dim sum restaurant, a perfect Chinese restaurant, I'll give it a name and a little ad there, up at Shepherd and Brimley. We eat at least once a week there. The people whose first language is not English are now approaching us when they see the logo and ask if they can sign. The word is getting around. On the other side of the city, after eating at a Samanian restaurant this summer near Martin Grove in Dixon, the owner asked for all our cards to hand out to her community. She also could not believe that this was being contemplated. In one afternoon in a Kensington market, we got over 300 signatures from people who approached our table. Yet most people we meet have no idea that just our plan for the waterfront. For the few that do, most everyone thinks it's an issue of noise. And this is my concern. Why is the city not informing all the citizens of Toronto of what is going to happen on their waterfront and what is supposed to happen? This is a huge issue with implications far beyond noise. As extolling the wonder and virtue and ease of traveling by jet from the island airport are found in just about every newspaper every day. Every time I turn on my computer, I am blasted with an ad by Porter. Even publicly owned bus shelters, which publicly owned, were plastered with positive ads this summer. I don't have the money to tell all the cities that, they need, that there may be downside issues. Further, I don't think it's my job. I think it is the job of our council to ensure that everyone knows that areas of our waterfront will be affected. Even if we don't exactly know how, we can at least tell them this is what might be affected. Everyone means those who celebrate the dragon races, those who swim at Hammond's Point, those thousands who attend the Outdoor Sea Festival, the music festival, the 8,000 kayakers and the additional sailors, the bird watchers, <coughs> even the dancers on the pier. And those who commute downtown or use Queen's Pay and Lakeshore Road, those who attend the schools which may have to be moved, all should be made aware of what is at stake and their, how their lives might be affected by a jet airport on the waterfront. Thank you. Perfect. Are there, are there any, uh, are there any other, are any questions from Councillor? Thank you very much. Uh, the next